I was wondering if there is uh, like a world record, a Guinness world record, because uh, Guinness world records are the only ones that count, uh, in my humble opinion. Record breaker. Um, a Guinness world record for the smallest spray painted pet portrait on a canvas. On your oranges, get set, go. Uh, because if there isn't, then I think I am about to make that record. Uh, I'm attempting to paint my smallest sort of detailed uh, portrait um, that I've ever done, really. Yeah, so normally I kind of work on canvases around about sort of 16 by 20 inches, but today I'm gonna paint on a 10 by eight inch canvas and it's gonna be a full dog's head. Now I'm not going to take part in this record because the knives used for this are very, very sharp indeed. So don't you try this at home, will you? Uh, yeah, I'm quite excited about it. Hopefully this will be a fairly quick process because it's really small. Um, but even as I say that, I can feel the curse coursing through my body, uh, ready to come out and make this as difficult as it can possibly be. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing today. I'm painting a puppy, uh, a very small puppy, on a very small canvas. And if you fancy having a go at this at home, don't, because it's difficult, and unless you're an experienced dancer, it's dangerous and could hurt a lot. So, yeah, I hope you enjoy. Welcome to Jeff Paints. <laughs> I just wanted to say thank you to uh, The Wretchedness, I think it's called. Uh, he left a comment on one of my previous videos saying you should try Montana Gold using the gold stock cap, um, which I've never used before, so I have high hopes for it, um, mainly because I'm starting to lose patience uh, with spray paint. Molotow changing their valve has uh, it's kind of ruined my life. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Really, I spent years perfecting my craft using Molotow, and then they go and change the cans, uh, so it's kind of having to start again. So I'm really hoping that this is going to work out. Uh, thank you to The Wretchedness uh, for giving me this little suggestion. I'm going to give it a go. I am going to set myself a couple of little rules when it comes to this challenge. Um, obviously I'm going to be using my bits of card like I normally do. When I've done this kind of thing in the past I have tended to cheat a little bit when I've got to the end. I've got a little marker pen out and I've put some sort of dots in the eyes or I've kind of you know added a little bit of fur using the pen. Uh, but not this time. No. No, 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 no. This is going to be 100% spray paint. I am going to allow myself to use Sticky Stick, and we should all remember Sticky Stick from this video. Um, but apart from that, it's going to be just spray paint. Yeah, I think I'm ready. Let's do this.
this is going so well. Maybe too well. Something bad's gonna happen. Uh, no, I'm absolutely loving uh, painting on this small scale. Um, I'm also absolutely loving Montana, Montana? I'm also absolutely loving Montana Gold spray paint combined with the gold stock cap and my own homemade stencil cap. Um, now, I have had a lot of problems over the last year with Molotow spray paint. Uh, if you've seen my videos, there's a little link to one of the videos there. Uh, you'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, but essentially, uh, a couple of months ago, I think it was, Molotow changed the design of their cans. So that's probably not a very good example. Uh, changed the design of their cans uh, from uh, this to this. And in doing so, they also changed the valve inside the can. And the new valve is horrible. I don't like it. Uh, the original valve, mwah, fantastic. Uh, the Montana Gold, with the gold stock cap and my homemade stencil cap, is like using Molotow from two years ago. Uh, it is an absolute dream. Uh, yeah, but that's enough for one day. Uh, I'm going to uh, go and get some food and go and have a little sleep and uh, we'll come back tomorrow and we'll do some more because I'm on holiday and I can do that sort of thing. Haven't got to go to work tomorrow, no. I can come back here and carry on and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Right, okay, uh, what is this? Day three, two, two, three, three, two. Day whatever. Uh, yeah, let's get on. Let's get the nose done. Um, yep, yeah, see what we can do today.
this has been fun. Yeah. Now, I know I usually say at the end of most of my videos, oh, I really enjoyed painting this one, uh, but uh, I'll let you into a little secret. Sometimes it's not so enjoyable. Um, and uh, with the problems that I've been having with my paint lately, um, yeah, the last couple of paints that I have done have not really been that enjoyable. But this one, <gasps> um, I hope that you have enjoyed watching this video. Uh, thank you so much if you've got to this stage. Um, please leave me a little like if you like my video. And if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, then please get subscribing. Um, yeah, uh, I, think the, I think the only kind of real question here though is, am I a record breaker? Definitely, uh, because uh, for me, this is the smallest, most detailed painting that I've ever done, um, and I'm really pleased with it. So, without further ado, let's see the final finished result. This is mini!